think we're live. I can only tell by the uh, countdown. It's like a countdown to New Year's countdown. Did I start talking too early? My best joke happened before we actually went live. <laughs> you got it back, thank you. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Steve Fulton, this is Lindsay Hunt, and this is Dustin Morris. And we are here to play some music for you. We are doing the Valiant Productions Quarantine Sessions. And uh, this is to benefit uh, Boise Rock School. So thank you for tuning in. so much I uh, you're free to get up and dance we can't see you but we can't see you, <laughs> we can't see you. <laughs> yeah it's funny I, I notice everybody who does this uh, says the same thing it's like this is so weird we're playing you know to no one but yet people can be watching we're playing to some camera operators and audio people and yes. so yeah it's a little odd but we uh, still 
are going to have a really good time. Right, guys? We are. Okay. I've already promised you that I'd have a good time, so I will. Okay. Okay, good. All right. I'm gonna, we're going to do a song. Um, I think we're doing all originals tonight, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do all originals. This song is called Life is a Melody. Um, I like to write songs about writing songs. And that's what this is. And there's going to be a couple that actually are kind of in that ballpark. <laughs> anyway, this one's called Life is a Melody. It goes up and down and round and round faster Sometimes you're strong alone, but it ends in a song. Some people create, some sit and listen, some like to dance while others will whistle. One thing that's clear.
thank you. And I want to really especially thank, right at this very moment, my bandmates for following me uh, down the path of the wrong <laughs> structure of that song. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what is going on over there? He's tracking you. We pay attention. <laughs> I was testing you guys. That's what was going on. Keeping right. us on our toes. You guys pass the test. Now you can play this next song with me. <laughs> I've uh, had the pleasure of um, having a songwriting retreat every May for the last, I think, five years. Um, this year's it's not going to happen for reasons you can imagine, <clears throat> but I have probably written, I think, 15 songs there. Um, my friend uh, Nancy Cassidy. Um, owns the property up there and she has these songwriting retreats. Lindsay's gone there with me one time and it was really, it's really special. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's incredible. It's right, it's up in, you know, just on the other side of the, the Salmon River up in uh, Stanley and just inspirational. So writing songs is like pretty easy. Um, on my drive up there a few years ago, a couple of years ago, I was listening to an audio book by Pema Chodron um, who I'd only really r at that time uh, learned about. She's a you know Buddhist and and has a, a, just just a, you gotta you gotta check her out. She she has these things that uh, that she says that are so profound. And I guess inside of what I heard subconsciously, um, part of the concept of this s next song came out, and it's this part of the the chorus. Um, and you know what? It might be cool if you just like go find. She did a, sp a commencement speech for a college uh, one time, and there's a there's a, a recording of that. And what she said in that uh, inspired this uh, chorus in this song here. This song is called "It's Easy to Win." <laughs> start over because that really sucked. Nothing's 
Jazz. I was just I was venturing into a jazz, jazz chord. chord yeah, uh, yeah, as in the wrong chord. Jazz did night, man. That's a, a killer song. Thank you. That was Lindsay on the first verse oh. there, by the way. Lindsay Hunt. Oh, thank you. She's one of my besties, my yeah, best music my, buddy, right you're, there. You're my, I feel All like right. This is a nice trifecta here. Yeah, it is. This <laughs> is fun. I can hear you <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. All right, so those songs were, you know, somewhat minor key-ish. Let's do really something. Right let's, let's, let's do something really uh, lighthearted. I, I wrote this song in in, in uh, Stanley, in that. Uh, uh, this base this song is basically about. Ha- have you ever heard that uh, the saying? Um, tripping over, tripping over dollars to pick up dimes or. Per- you know, people use different denominations, but basically, people are in such a big hurry in life that they, uh, you know, they 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 walk right over the top of the the thing that has more value, mm. and that's what this song is about. It's called Nickels and Dimes. It's my lighthearted little fun way of of uh, expressing that thought.
say this, spin that, nickel and dime, nickel and dime yourself. Or you can slow things down, take a look around. The best things in life are free. If I had a nickel every time. them take the ending there just because uh, I, uh, you know, didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> we got it. We're having fun. It is fun. Right? And it's a good cause. Oh. We're having fun. We're celebrating music. Mm-hmm. We're all stuck at home, except we're not. We're stuck six feet away. And we're just having a nice time. Yes, that's true. I am very honored to share the stage with you two guys. Um, I had an album, uh, called Eponym that I put out in October of 2016. Um, it was it was a uh, I mean it was it was like 11 years in the making. It took me I don't know eight years before I realized it had been eight years since I recorded a record, and then three more years to actually get it done. So I was a uh, pent up in the writing songs. I had, I had a pile of my, I had 40 songs, uh, but I pared it down to 26 songs, and I put out a double CD called Eponym uh, that you can find anywhere online. I mean, uh, the exchange? I think MySpace is probably the best place to go, oh, right? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, MySpace? That's a joke, right? <laughs> I guess not in the chat room. Yeah. yeah. No, I met the others. I met the other Steve Fulton on MySpace. Oh. Steve Fulton from Indianapolis. I hope you're watching. All right, this song is from that record. It's called Over. i 
on the violin solo. You call a violin in this in this project? There is a I don't fiddle know. sometimes. I play the violin. <laughs> She's definitely a violin player. I'm a violin player. I fake fiddle. I'm a classically trained You violinist. fiddle around on the violin. I fiddle around. I fake fiddle. I heard it was all in the feet anyway. It's all in the feet. Mm, such is life. I can't quite figure out the river dancing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wow, another song written in Stanley. This song is a. Uh, this song is called "Shaky Bridge," and the basic message of this song is um, um, people going ahead and doing things, even though they're not a good idea. Take a shortcut. You 
guys are awesome. I love you guys. All right, this is another song off of my uh, Epidem record. I'm glad that you were tuning because I was like, oh, I'm in drop D. <laughs> He's already started the song. Yeah. All right, this song is called So You Say. Fine. If you 
Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Hey, uh, awesome. I'm going to change guitars. Hmm. It's like everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Yeah. Yeah. The quarantine? Yeah, <laughs> we're part of the quarantine. Quarantine. <laughs> this is our quarantine. The quarantine is, the, is everyone out here. Anyway, I'd like to thank Valiant Productions yeah. for doing this series. It's so great. It's so uh, cool to have such an, a high-quality production um we're up here performing and able to relax because the sound is is so good the only thing that's distracting me is that i keep seeing my face right down there and that's oh man that'll distract anyone but uh, uh i've been closing my eyes just to make sure i don't see that evil monster and it's awesome because there's like a little <laughs> delay so the monitors in front of us we can see yeah them we'll see like what happened uh oh. A few I made that face two seconds ago. Two seconds ago? It's like we're in a kung fu movie. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it is like that. It is like that. Yeah. So this is a this is a fairly new song. Um, this one kind of I think the lyrics speak for themselves. But I wrote this on an extended weekend uh, in Spokane. I I I had I do I work in the concert industry besides being a musician, and I had a show early in the week and an, another one later in the week, and I had a about five days that I, I could either have flown home or just stayed in Spokane, and I, I uh, thought, oh, this is a good opportunity to write some stuff. So I wrote a couple songs, and this is one of them. This song's called Unraveled. Sometimes I think I think 
Stay where I've been. My mind and phrase if things were thin. And the ball of yarn seems to need. Awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> We've got time for a couple more. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, what's next? What's next? What's this next? This song is called uh, Watch a Saw. Oh, yeah. This is the, the name of the plantation uh, that my, my, my father was born in, on, and my grandfather was the ca caretaker. For 50 years, he was the caretaker of this property in South Carolina. Um, it's it's now completely been redeveloped. And it's gone. It had three generations of, uh, of plantations: the 1700s, the 1800s, and the 1900s. There was uh, there was a uh, different plantation home on this property. It was 3,500 acres, and it was uh, it's where it's where I you know it's where my roots are from. And this is for my dad. This is for my father, Ed Fulton. Um, this is about where he was born. And I, I did, th there's a lyric in here about me uh, learning how to drive a tractor when I was eight years old. It's true. I learned how to drive a tractor when I was eight, eight years old. Because you work early. 
But I didn't, I didn't follow that path, I guess. All right, here we go. Just a minute ago. I did. I'm sorry, I, I stepped. Like I step, <laughs> did I step on you? You got really close. I was like, oh, <laughs> get away from me. You're in social the distancing. Bubble. Just, Whoa. just in case it hurts. Okay, we got one more song. Thank you very, very much for uh, tuning in. And remember, uh, Boise Rock School is the is the the. It's not a charity, but you know, it's, it's an or, it's a benefit. It's an organization that we'd really like to support. Boise Rock School, they help uh, young musicians learn what it's like to be in a band and learn mm -hmm. what it's like to be a musician. They, they teach them everything. I mean, they teach them how to, you know, um, work with other people musically, and they teach them all about recording, 
Um, they have a curriculum. They have a curriculum. Yeah. It's really an amazing organization. Uh, Ryan Peck is one of the owners of that or the founders of that. He's a friend of mine, and I just really love the guy. He's, he's such a, a good soul. So I, uh, I uh, really want to see if we can raise some money for those guys. So please yes. find a, you just search if you can't find the button. There's got to be a button on there that you can... But anyway, search it out if you don't find it, but I think there's a way that you can easily connect to it. All right, so this is our last song. Uh, this song is exactly about what I imagine, where I imagine songs come from, because to me it's a mystery. Like, mm -hmm. I... They just kind of uh, they just kind of appear, um, and the more you write songs, the more you recognize when one is coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I had this kind of vision of like how it kind of just it just kind of floats in on the breeze. It comes in through a window or whatever, you know. And and so this is my song about uh, that. I I wrote this in Stanley, of course, um, but I f I. I wrote two verses in the chorus and everything in Stanley, but I wrote the last verse uh, in Cuba um, outside of Havana. Is that right, Havana? Yeah, you went, did you go to Why Havana? did that sound like Georgia all of a sudden? <laughs> yes, we went to the, the capital city. <laughs> Atlanta, Havana, you know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, the last verse I wrote down there because of an experience I had down there, you'll, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll recognize that.
let's just see. Hey, thank you all so much. Appreciate you. Thank you, Valiant, Valiant Productions. You guys are amazing. Yes, and thank, uh, you, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you to Carrie Hoff for supporting us all the time. And thank you to Lindsay Hunt and Dustin Morris. I thanks love you guys. I love playing with you guys. It's amazing. Steve so uh, we will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. See you later. Good night.